Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean of Third Railify, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So maybe, just maybe, you remember a, a band, a rock band, a pop band. I don't know what they were. Lame, maybe. But anyways, that band was called Headley. Is that, is that ringing any bells for, for anybody? Band Headley? Well, apparently, they were big. I don't know. You may remember them from this little ditty. This band broke up. And they broke up because of Me Too. The old pound Me Too movement. And it turns out that the um, the front man Jacob Hoggard did uh, he did a bad thing, and uh, well he's now he's now um, well he, his trial is starting. Let's just say that before we get into that story, I I obviously need to um, shill, and I'll be shilling myself. So I uh, do like subscribe share, all of those things that uh, help this channel grow. Do consider following me at Third Railify on Twitter. That would be great. Maybe follow me at Third Railify on Rumble. That would be fantastic. Or even on YouTube. Where I, where I don't know where you're watching this, but do consider following me on the other one if you have it. And if you are a Giga Chad, uh, maybe at thirdrailify.locals.com. Getting back to this. So, Rockstar. Jacob Hoggard on trial for horrifying sex assault of woman who uh, claims that he choked her and beat her. I mean, what's a rock star to do nowadays if you can't smack the bitch up? Smack my bitch up. You know what I mean? All these rock stars and celebrities trying to, uh, I don't know, have freak offs with no consequences. <laughs> uh, so. This one is a Canadian rock star. And um, at the time that um, the Me Too started happening, this, this band that, that started in BC in about 2003 finally started getting genuinely really big. They, they were on a very clear upward trajectory and um, like a Hamas missile taken out by a, 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 a patriot. Missile of the Iron Dome. They just got on their upward slope. They just got knocked right out. I, I I guess don't rape women. Don't rape anybody. If I'm honest, the Canadian rock star has pleaded not guilty to sexual assault charges in Ontario after he allegedly choked a teen during a degrading sex act after one of his concerts. Former frontman of Headley, Jacob Hoggard began his trial for the attack that allegedly took place following the concert in Kirkland. That's actually Kirkland Lake, uh, Ontario, on June 25th, 2016. Now, um, a couple funny things. Kirkland Lake is an itty-bitty tiny little place. And it's way, 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 way up north. How far up north? How little itty-bitty? Well, let's just take a little ADHD side tour of that. This is the world. You see Canada. Let's, let's zoom in on this. Oh, we're zooming. We're zooming. This is Ontario. This is my, my province of Ontario. I am in southwestern Ontario, down here, where, you know, civilization is. We go way up here. You, you can kind of see my mouse moving about. Uh, way up there. This is by Timmins, which is way, way up north. You keep zooming in, and you see, like, this is a, this is a nothing town. You just keep zooming in. We're going to zoom in, and then I'm going to show you something funny about Kirkland Lake. It's just, it's a tiny little place. What is a big Canadian rock band doing in a little place like that, I, I wonder? I, I don't know. Let me show you something else. That's kind of funny. This little Canadian town right here. Let me let me zoom in 
on this little Canadian town. I promise you'll laugh. This is the town of Swastika, Ontario. Yeah, there's a company called Swastika Laboratories. Oh, here's Swastika Ave, the Swastika Fire Station, Swastika Fireman's Park. It's uh, technically incorporated into Kirkland Lake as it's basically a suburb, but it's kind of funny. So that's just what I'm saying. This big rock band is um, in broken up, but the singer of the rock band is in trouble for raping a girl in the middle of nowhere in super far north Ontario. I mean, go figure. The woman who claimed in court that she was 19 when uh, she met the singer, along with a small group of other friends at an after party. I mean, where do you have a party? Where do you even have a concert at a, at a small place like that? The band members, including Hoggard, allegedly lured the girls to a campfire behind a local hotel and brought alcohol, according to Toronto Star. Campfire is this very Canadian. The woman added that she had around five to eight beers that night. And as the sun rose and the other girls began leaving, she tried to arrange a ride home before Hoggard told her to stay. Under questioning by the Crown Attorney, which is the, the lawyer for the Crown, the King, it's the prosecution, Peter Keene. The girl said she was told they would play some music and have a casual conversation. So she's been liquored up and uh, basically separated from her friends. He's like, no, baby, stay. Let's talk. And she's like, no, this is fine. This is fine. This, this rock star just wants to have a casual conversation with me. I mean, listen, ladies, it is always terrible when anything bad happens to you. but sometimes. Not always, but there are times you put yourself in stupid fucking positions. My goodness. Leave with your friends. Always leave with your friends. <laughs> Plowing ahead. I trusted him. I found him pleasant. I didn't see anything abnormal. Well, maybe it's abnormal that you're drunk alone with a rock star. That's abnormal, I think. He added, also stating she remembered talking to Hoggard and getting a selfie with him at the campsite. Brown attorney Lily Gates told the jury that the alleged victim is expected to describe the events that occurred um, in Hoggard's hotel room that night. Specifically, she's expected to testify that he called her a pig, as well as committing degrading sexual acts as choking, slapping, and urination. Now, apparently... The girl didn't want to be called names. She didn't want to be choked. She didn't want to be slapped around and beat up. And she also didn't want to be pissed on. At some point during that, she also likely, I guess we'll find out in the details, but she also didn't want the sex to continue or even possibly begin. And yet it did. So, um, I don't know, theoretically, well, this guy could be in a whole lot of trouble. A whole Heap of trouble, as uh, the Dukes of Hazard would have it. <laughs> Gates also reported um, that the, the woman is expected to testify that she thought it would be cool that Hoggard wanted to hang out with her one on one. See, ladies, you can't put yourself in the worst situations, always thinking that it's just going to be fine. The she'll be right attitude, it, it's not safe. Superior Court uh, Justice Robin Tremblay told the jury that Hoggard admits to having sexual contact with the woman. But the dispute is consent. Oh, yeah, she, she wanted to be pissed on. Well, did she, though? The complainant's testimony is expected to continue on Wednesday. So this trial is just starting. And uh, it, might, it might be interesting to uh, see how this goes. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, when the Me Too stuff happened, the, the whole rock band was in trouble for various things here and there. But it was the, the lead singer, this Jacob Hoggard, who had to do a lot of apologizing. A lot of the, the band was like, yeah, I've done a thing or two, and maybe it was inappropriate, but I didn't do anything really wrong. And that was back in our crazy party days, but we're sorry now and blah, 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 blah. And uh, most of the band got 
a w- way pretty unscathed, I think, if if memory serves. Except this uh, Jacob Hoggard, the lead singer. No, he uh, he basically threw himself down on the on the mercy of the woke left. And if you apologize, if you throw yourself down on the mercy of the woke left, they're just gonna devour you while you're on your knees. And and they have, and they have. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll keep you uh, guys updated on this if you're interested. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye for now.